Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest method on how to sideload apps and games onto your Oculus Quest using an application called SideQuest. Now, previous methods of sideloading, which I've shown in other videos, can be a bit daunting if you're not technically minded, but this method is super simple and it works with Windows, Linux, and Mac. Now, this method can be used for sideloading Riftcat or ALVR for streaming Steam VR content directly from your PC wirelessly to your Oculus Quest, or you can use it to install custom Beat Saber tracks and mods. And finally, you can sideload some games that aren't officially available from the Oculus Store like Quake, Virtual Desktop's VR streaming feature, and the awesome first-person shooter Pavlov. Now, I've put links and timestamps to everything in the description down below. If you have any questions or technical issues about the process, I'll link to the developer's Discord in the description where you can get help if you need it. I hope you guys and girls find this guide useful, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get into the guide, there's a few things that you'll need. Of course, an Oculus Quest. You'll also need a PC running Windows, Linux, or Mac. And finally, you'll need a Type-C to Type-A USB cable to connect the Quest to your PC. Now, you won't be able to use the cable that comes in the box with the Quest unless you have a Type-C connection on your PC, so just be aware of that. Step one. First, we need to enable developer mode on your Oculus account. So using a browser, head over to the Oculus dashboard. I've put a link directly to it in the description down below. Log in using your Oculus account and click on create new organization. In the box here, you can enter whatever name for your organization that you like and click on submit. Then all you need to do is agree to the terms and conditions and that's the first step done. Step two. Now we need to install ADB drivers to allow your PC to communicate and transfer files to your Oculus Quest. If you're running on a Windows PC, you'll need to follow this step. However, if you're using Mac or Linux, you can skip this step completely and jump straight to step number three. All you need to do is click on the link in the description down below and download the Oculus Go ADB drivers directly from Oculus. Once downloaded, extract the folder where you want the drivers to be located using an application like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Open the extracted folder and right click on Android underscore WinUSB 86 and click on install. Once installed, go ahead and restart your PC and then come straight back to the guide and jump to step three. Step three. Now we need to activate developer mode on your Oculus Quest, so head over to the Oculus app on your mobile device. Ensure your Oculus Quest is turned on and on the same Wi-Fi network as your mobile device and click on the headset under settings. In the drop down menu, tap on more settings and you'll see developer mode in the list. Tap on that and ensure the toggle is turned on. Step four. Now connect your Oculus Quest to your PC using a USB-C to USB-A cable. If you're connecting your headset to your PC for the first time, you'll need to allow a notification which pops up in the headset itself. Put the headset on and the pop-up will ask you if you want to allow USB debugging. Check the box that says always allow from this computer to prevent this from popping up again in the future. Once allowed, that is step four complete. Step five, now we need to download and install SideQuest. Click on the link in the description down below and download the latest version of SideQuest from the releases listed. Once downloaded, run the sidequest.exe and you'll be able to select your installation location. You may get a warning from Windows about SideQuest being an unrecognized app. If you're happy to continue, click on more info and run anyway. Once extracted, open the SideQuest folder and inside you'll find SideQuest.exe. I'd recommend creating a shortcut for it on your desktop so it's easy to get to in the future. To do this, right click on the EXE and click on Create Shortcut. Then just copy this shortcut to your desktop where you can rename it if you wish. The first time you open the SideQuest app, it may take some time to download. Once the app is open, you can see you can download a number of useful apps and games like V-Ridge, which I've covered in a separate video, ALVR, Altspace, The Expanse, and Virtual Desktop's VR streaming feature. Just note you will need to have bought Virtual Desktop from the Oculus Store for the Virtual Desktop streaming feature to work. Now all you need to do is ensure your Quest is still connected and that you have a green light in the top right hand corner of SideQuest. If so, simply click on the app or game you want to install and click install. You can also uninstall apps using this same method. If you want to install apps that are not included in SideQuest, you can simply drop the APK files into the app and it will install it for you. 
You can also manage all the installed apps using this button at the top right of the app. Here you can uninstall, clear the app's data or back up the APK. And that is pretty much it, that is SideQuest in a nutshell. You'll be able to find all the sideloaded apps that you've transferred to your Oculus Quest by navigating to library and unknown sources in the headset where all the apps and games will be listed. Now I'll quickly show you how to get up and running with custom Beat Saber tracks and how to sideload Pavlov. For custom Beat Saber tracks, go to the top of the app and click on Beast Saber. There are some more instructions here if you get stuck at any point. But all you need to do is scroll down and browse the tracks which have been created by the community. Each track shows the difficulties included and you can listen to them before adding them if you wish. Once you're happy, click on Add to SideQuest and do this for as many tracks as you want. Once you've got enough tracks, go to My Downloads at the top right of SideQuest. Here you can add a custom name to your track pack and even give it some custom artwork. Then click on Sync Custom Levels. If this is your first time, it will prompt you to back up your current install, so if anything goes wrong, you can easily restore it. This also saves your local scores and settings each time you want to update it. Then you'll finally get to this screen where you can modify the color of your sabers if you wish, and then all you need to do is click on Patch Beat Saber, and that's it done. In Oculus Home, when you try and launch Beat Saber, it may ask if you want to update the app. Click on Do Not Update, and the game will load, and you'll be able to see your custom tracks in the menu. Now let's move on to Pavlov. The developers of SideQuest have stated that Pavlov will likely be included in the SideQuest app in the near future, so you can easily install it with a single click. But until then, you have to install it manually. Simply follow the link that I've included in the description down below to Pavlov Build 7. Once downloaded, drop the APK and OBB files into SideQuest one at a time, and SideQuest will start transferring them to your Oculus Quest headset. It can take some time because the files are pretty big, so just be patient. Once that's done, go into Settings in SideQuest where it says Pavlov Audio and click on the button that says Grant Pavlov Audio Permission. Now you'll be able to find Pavlov installed on your Oculus Quest under Library and Unknown Sources. Now you can jump into some online multiplayer with some other Quest owners, which is totally awesome. Okay, so there we have it guys and girls. That's a quick and easy guide on how to sideload apps and games on your Oculus Quest using SideQuest. Now, if you found the application easy to use, feel free to support the developers of SideQuest so they can continue to add more games and features to improve the application in the future. It's a bit disappointing that things beyond some of these developers' control have prevented them from publishing their games and apps on the Oculus Store, but at least thanks to SideQuest we have an easy and convenient way to install and enjoy these apps by sideloading them. Just be aware that when Beat Saber drops updates it can break the mod support of this, so keep an eye on the Discord for the latest news. But let me know in the comments down below if you found this guide useful and if it worked for you. And also let me know what is your favorite app that you've sideloaded onto your Oculus Quest. I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video and you found it helpful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.